Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 25 of my Lazio Football Manager 2016. Let's play. First game today is against Udinese at home. I think we're going to get straight into it. Previous episode, we only played one game but had a lot of other stuff going on and also I want to mention I've been noticing in the comments especially in the last video multiple people are saying you want to see this series more and basically for me to upload more videos and I just want to say I'm doing as much as I can making videos like some of my videos might be in between 20 and 30 minutes for football manager videos but it takes a lot longer than that to produce it's like a couple hours from recording to editing to uploading on YouTube just all that thing together and just sitting down to make the video and preparing for it getting ready to record it takes a lot of time so I hope you guys just understand that and I make as much videos as my time allows unfortunately I don't do YouTube full-time as of yet I would love to or I would make videos all day that would be sweet and I'll have like four or five videos a day um, like, and you see people with a million subscribers, they probably just make one video a day and sometimes just a few videos in a week. But yeah, like if I ever had that, you know, like, you know, like I think about that in my head, it's like, oh, I'd make videos all day. I, I wish I had that opportunity. And I, I feel personally, I'll just say what I feel, but like, I feel people take that for granted. And yeah, and there's someone like me that just wants to do it full time and not even be rich, just get by, you know? Uh, but to do this actually as my job so I just want to talk about that for a second because it's been yeah, playing in my mind and yeah uh, if I was in that opportunity to do YouTube full-time unfortunately not at the minute as you can see views are a bit lower this time in the year because like Premier League's finish and everything like that so interest is lower people just drop off and can't be bothered watching videos and that kind of thing or my style of videos anyway they're more like the real life kind of stuff which is understandable in this day and age but I did want to mention that like if I get to that point like I'll be making so much videos every single day like I'd record all day because I absolutely love doing it because yeah I just I enjoy it I just get enjoyment from it like I said I wouldn't even want to earn a lot of money from it just enough to get by just enough to eat and pay for everything I need to to live on my own and and that would be it <laughs> that would be it and I'd be so happy with that and I would upload, yeah, many videos. Like I said, I record all day. So that's something I wanted to get out. But we will get straight into the game now against Udinese. Made some changes. Philippe Anderson coming in. I know a few of you guys want to see him. Andrea Zivkovic. But it's just rotating the team. Other players that need a rest. Like Mara is only on 85% condition. Uh, so keep that in mind. And also Patrick Lulic just rotating uh, the fullbacks there. Willie Auburn. Hopefully he'll be able to put in a good performance. Rugani needs a bit of a rest on 91%. But he's been good this season. And well, it's only been two games. But hopefully he'll be able to continue to do that. And prove that he is a good player. I know unbelievably some people are still doubting him. I know there was interest from Real Madrid. But... I don't know what's bad about Rugani. He's a really consistent player for his age. But let's head on into the game now. So, guys, I'm just sitting here waiting for an opportunity to present itself. There's been no clear-cut chances. But we've had eight shots, three on target. Even Udinese, two shots on target. But apparently the game thinks they're not key, or <laughs> key enough of a highlight to show. So it looks like it's going to be nil-nil going into half time. Really? I guess so. Maybe we have to change something. But I still think we've created some opportunities judging off the match stats. That's all I can really judge off, can't we? And we'll say assertively, we owe... I didn't say that. I didn't say that the first team talk I did, so uh, we'll do that. But yeah, we need to make a difference. We'll go attacking and we'll see instructions if we'll be able to make a change. We'll go a bit more expressive and higher defensive line. Okay, there's a ball over the top to Chamak. Chamak! Chamak scores! I was not anticipating that an early goal in the half. Obviously, what I said didn't have any impact at all, and we dropped down to third. And we can't have an early loss in the season. This season's already going to be tough because we have a tough Champions League group, probably the toughest. But <laughs> I'm just in like the back of my head, I'm just thinking how that's going to pan out, playing games against Barcelona and Manchester City. Chima how does Chimac score against us? And Belotti, our key striker now, is not even having a good game. We've got to substitute out the duds here. Belotti out, 
oh, <laughs> what other striker do we have? We have low Remy. He's going to have to come on. What's his best position as a striker? Complete forward on attack. Remy, ex-Chelsea player. That gives it a lot of hype. Stefano Mauri. Would he come on for Drussi? Drussi not having the best of games, I think. And the question begs, should I be starting Mauri again more? Or do I keep playing Drussi? Just something to think about. Riyad Mahrez might come on. But, yeah, he's got that lower condition. Uh, we'll just have to see how we go. Okay, what other changes can we make, though? We'll put the inside forwards on attack duty. Just so it'd be a bit more attacking, I suppose. That's <laughs> the logic. And we'll go route one. This feels like one of these games where nothing's going to be created. It's just we're not having a good game. It's just one of those things. And I'm trying to think of options... We don't really have another striker to bring on, so that's tough. That's a tough situation. We can't, like, play with two strikers or something. We got Redu on the bench. If... I don't think I can... I don't think I can do that anyway, so... Because I already made two subs. Who is not playing... Philippe Anderson is actually having a decent game, 7.1. Andrea Zivkovic, not quite. Riyad Mahrez, save us, mate. And we'll go overload. See, on all these options, I'm. Th you can leave your feedback. We can put take more risks now because we're on overload. But I've put all the best attacking options for our style as well. Closing down, that's more defensive side of things. Uh, maybe roam from positions. But for the most part, maybe we can just switch out what we do here. Maybe we'll just whip in some crosses and shoot on sight. But yeah, for the most part, I've got... Uh, the best attacking options, in my view anyway, uh, to score a goal. Lukash Bilia. And Marco Parolo. They're in their best roles, so... And, uh, yeah, I, I'm just trying to think how we can change. Like, this is the best setup to score a goal. We've been playing amazing in this tactic and everything like that. But it's just one of those games where... It looks like we're going to get defeated. Because there's 20 minutes left. You would think that's enough time. I'll say a team talk as well. Half the team is nervous or frustrated. Demand more? Come on. We're not going to win the league or stand a chance of just getting out of the group stage in the Champions League. If we can't win at home here against Udinese. How are we supposed to beat Barcelona or Manchester City? This is not good enough. And I know we started with rotating players. And you, you have to rotate players. And the players you bring in have to step up. But we just... You could think we are weaker uh, with our strikers. But... Yeah, it's tough when you don't have, like, so much money to bring in amazing players all over the pitch. But, oh, come on. Like, I feel they're just going to create a chance here. Unless we win the ball back. Come on! We've got to see something here. Come on, Remy. Remy! Oh, Parolo! Mares! Mares! Oh, Mares. If he was in a Leicester City shirt, he would have scored. Okay, five minutes left. <laughs> I could tell this game at half time. Or maybe a little bit after half time. What it was going to, we weren't going to score a goal. It was just never going to happen for us in this game. It was an even game. The game was even. See, I'm not sure what anyone else thinks or you're experiencing games in Football Manager. Games that are even, you usually you lose. You have to dominate a game or be the better team, like more shots and everything to win the game. <laughs> That's my experience. And it's not an excuse or anything. When I try and make a reason for a result, people always like say like excuse or something. But no, I'm just judging off my experience. So <laughs> that's all you can do. It's not like blaming the game or something that people like to say. But anyway, uh, assertively, we're just unlucky there. But yeah, no, I'm. That's the truth. And people that who would have experienced the same, you you'll agree with that. Like Football Manager, games that are even, you'll you'll win less than you'll draw or lose. It's just the way it plays out. And yeah, I'm I'm disappointed in the team. I want to put that frustration on the players so they can lift in the next few games because this kind of result is not acceptable if we want to be winning the title because we've already lost one game.
So guys, here we've got a warning from a favourite of Lazio, Tommaso Rocci, singled out experienced midfielder Jose Sosa from Besiktas. He's a good attacking player for them, so let's check him out. He's had two games so far, solid rating. I think he's a leader of the club, like he's a really good player for Besiktas. They've got Romaro <laughs> Gomez as well. Uh, they've actually, oh, Caresma, I'm almost scared now. Uh, but yeah, definitely Jose Sosa is a good player for them. Uh, he's a leader of the club. He's one of those players that everyone likes. So uh, they want to perform well and do it all for Sosa. So guys, we're just going to head into the next game now against Besiktas away from home. Man City and FC Barcelona are going to play out a game. So we have an opportunity to win this and hopefully be top of the group. That's the goal and that would give confidence to the team, even with hard games coming up in the group stage against City and Barcelona. Yeah, maybe just some confidence uh, mentally. That would be a good thing. But as you can see here, we do need to make some changes. Kishner's the only player that I couldn't register, so I feel the strong uh, the squad is pretty strong, uh, if we are honest here. Mares definitely going to make the team. We're going to have to make some yeah starting rotations. Zivkovic, oh, Philippe Anderson. People say to play him more. But when I do, he does. He sometimes does well, but for me, he isn't the dominant. And Boulder K... Oh, my God. What do I do here? No, do we have to play him? Oh, man. You're going to have to step up here. See, he probably will here against... Well, the Besiktas, looking at their team, they've got some decent players. So, that's slightly intimidating. So, it's not going to be an easy win for us here. Maori, he still needs fitness, Maori. So, we're going to give it to him right now. That doesn't sound weird at all. But anyway, <laughs> Dusan Bast is going to come in for Patrick. Again, maybe weak on the right side. Gentiletti off. Rugani come in. See, yeah, maybe if he played last game, maybe we wouldn't have conceded. Philippe Anderson. I want to start Remy. I want to get some match fitness into him as well. And we'll play him as complete forward on attack. Lukash Bilia. How long until the next game? It's four days away than away from home, Torino. Onazi will bring in for Bilia here and just watch, uh, swatch those positions there, swap them up, and that should be all right. Uh, yeah, I think that'll be it. Now the bench, we have to get rid of all these players because we can only have seven, of course, on the bench for Champions League games. So... Hopefully, it's balanced. We'll probably drop one of the center backs. So, Naguera, and we'll just bring on Lulic there. And Cataldi, Naguera, Ravel Morrison. He could come on. Ah, oh, no. I would rather have Drusi, so Ravel Morrison. Then you've got Bilia, Zivkovic, Belotti, Lulic, and Gentiletti. I think that's a good mix. So, let's head on into the game now. Throw in from Radu. Oh, that's a really good throw in there. We can create something now. Remy. Remy out wide. Good ball for Mares. Come on, Mares. You have to do something. Oh, why can't he be as good as he is in real life? His attributes look that way, though, when he got an upgrade, but he's not doing what I would want for him. Maori! He is back in the first team, and he scored his first goal of the season. He is the man. <laughs> he's too good. He, oh, it's hard to say he's been the best player. Like, Kandreva was good last season. We sold him. I know some of you guys, I saw some comments, you're not too happy about that, but just think of the long-term investment with that money, and yeah, it should be for the positive uh, as we push forward in this series, but yeah, Maori, well, excellent goal. Looks like we're going to get into halftime here, leading 1-0 away from home, yeah, always tricky in the Champions League, so I'm pretty happy with that, we'll go assertively, don't get complacent, would love to keep a clean sheet, that would be really good here. Parola with the head of Tamara's now. Maori plays her a good ball. Remy! It's 2-0. And Remy scores his first goal ever for Lazio. But how about the vision from Stefano Maori there? And Remy won a great position there. Goalkeeper came out and tidy finish. But Maori, yeah, did it all. Okay, really with the goal kick. Short to Regani here. Auburn, let's just maintain possession here. Maori, Remy, use that pace, Remy! It is 3-0. What a performance here. This is a really good game. Besiktas have actually had a lot of shots, but obviously 
Um, none that are too good. A lot of them off target. They've had clear-cut chances, but obviously, yeah, they've been wasted and not shooting on target. So we are being really efficient here today. But I think we will make some changes because you can't see us losing from here. Like, losing three-goal lead, not going to happen. Mares off. Uh, we're not getting the best out of him, which is a bit disappointing. And playing in his best role as well. So Zivkovic is going to come on. Remy, leave him on, might get a hat-trick. And Philippe Anderson, we're going to try Drussi out wide on the left. But he's probably best as a winger. So we play him as a winger. And, yeah, we'll see how we go. But, yeah, low Remy. Maybe his breakout game for us early in the season is very good as well. So it really begs the question, who will be the better striker this season, Belotti or Remy? But how about the game from Stefano Mauri? It, it's one goal and two assists, playing a part in every goal. He's just key. He is key. And now Drussi, if he wants to play at the same time as him, he might have to be out wide on the left now. And that's almost another goal. But now it's Gomez. Oh, no. They could score. They could score. It's Sosa. And he finishes it. I was warned about him. And he scores his first goal of the season. So let's see that again on the replay. Uh, Gokan did really well there. Played. Uh, the, my players were putting their arms up before he even got the ball. Instead of focusing on trying to call offside, try and win the ball. Try and get the ball back. That would be ideal. But now Gokan, he looks really dangerous. It's Sosa once more pulling the strings in midfield, but poor pass. And now we have an opportunity to counter Zivkovic. Dangerous ball. Oh, I thought, yeah, we could have got that. But we will get the ball back now. Radu goes back to Geronimo Rulli. Finds Onazi really well. His kicking's impressive. Sosa. Oh, he's got a, is that a yellow or a red? It's nothing. Anazi, that means the highlight is still alive, or maybe it won't be, Car oh, it's Sherman Cardenas, the football manager legend, the football manager legend, so, so, oh my god, I was warned, and, wow, I'm, I'm just caught up, all these different things are happening, uh, Sherman Cardenas is playing, and I have no idea why, or how, and then Sosa, uh, I'm just trying to think another Chief Keef analogy, <laughs> but, like, what what the hell is happening? What the hell is happening here today? Uh, can we go to stats and go to Besiktas stat? Is that Sherman Cardenas? It is Sherman Cardenas. Oh, my God. Back in the days, and he used to play for that team where he came from, yeah? I, I've never knew how to pronounce it, but I remember signing him back in, like, Football Manager 2008. Oh, <laughs> Uh, I remember si I had him in a good save. Uh, I just remember. I signed him a couple of times, actually, because he was... Yeah, he was just a boss. But, yeah, now, uh, one-star ability. Oh, that's a bit insulting to the legend that is Sherman Cardenas. God, turn it up, football manager. But I think we should make a change. But what kind of change is it going to be? Parolo's had a good game. I think we're going to bring on Lulic. Uh, some kind of defensive change needs to be made. And... We'll make that. So hopefully we can just hold on here. I thought the three goals would have been enough. And it looks like it will be. As long as there's no late highlight. There shouldn't be. We're holding on very well. We've played really well today. Uh, can we finish off? There shouldn't be a goal uh, for either team. There we go. We held on. Maybe I told the team not to be complacent in the second half. But... Yeah, those kind of things happen. We still had a solid game, assertively, well done. So, yeah, let's. I'm focusing on this win most definitely. Disappointing the previous game, but uh, right here we're on top of Barcelona and Man City. And I think them playing out a draw is a good thing. Maybe. I don't know. What do you think is best? Is it one of, best for one of them to lose, maybe? I'm not sure. But we are first. That's a good thing. So, guys, that is it for now. We finish off on a positive note with the victory in the Champions League. We're top of the group stage for now, anyway. Tough games to come, but, yeah, we can only 
see it for how it is right now. Was disappointing against Udinese, but yeah, good win. A good win to back that up to get a better result. Yeah, you can see seventh in the league, but again, no team won the first three games. So that's something to take out of it. No team is just clear away. Oh, it's only three games. It can't be too clear, but yeah, we're only one point away from top. That's the way I see it. And like I said at the start of the video, I'm going to try and make as much videos as I can as I really want to push towards just improving my content and having a lot more people watching my videos and hopefully there will be a stage at some point. Uh, but for now, I'm going to be making videos as much as I can, as much as my time allows. And hopefully I'll get to that stage, like I mentioned, I'll be able to make videos all day. And then you will see when I talk about making maybe four videos a day or something. That's the, like when I say that that's the goal I want to get to. And hopefully um, over the next year or so, over 12 months, uh, yeah, we can have more people coming to the channel. And that can be a real possibility for me. But for the most part, my biggest interest is making good videos for you guys and for you guys to get something out of it. Uh, that's that's what I like even if it's just a handful of people I'd still be making videos as long as you get something out of it makes your day better in a way if that one person That's what I mean. Uh, that's why I do YouTube, you know, but I'll instead of going a bit more in depth I'll just leave it there for now, but just so you get an insight to uh, Yeah, why I kind of do this YouTube thing, but that's it for now Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time